Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Wear, and today we have another cool video. Now we're going to be making the three strand flat paracord bracelet without a buckle. This is a pretty basic braid, but the reason why I put original in the title is because of the closure style. Someone suggested I make a bracelet that's a little more feminine, but I'm not sure if you wanted me to say your name or not, so I won't, but um, I hope this is what you're looking for. So you need about three separate patterns of about four feet of cord each. I'm going to be using burgundy, emerald green, and the purple with silver stripes. As always, there will be links in the description to those. And then you're just going to go ahead and start with a regular lanyard knot. So you're going to take your two main colors and you're just going to go ahead and run the end of your green cord over the middle of your hand. And then go ahead and loop that red cord and then pull it under and off to the right there and then put that loop on top of the green cord. Then you're just going to want to grab those two first bottom strands and pull those off to the side so they don't get mixed up at all. And then go ahead and grab the end of the green cord and then you're just going to pull it around and under that red strand. And then you're going to pull the green strand under and through that green loop and off to the left. Now, as you can see, we have kind of a figure eight pattern. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your red strand, pull it around in a circle going counterclockwise, past the green strand, and then up through the middle of that loop. Then you do the same with the green strand going counterclockwise. You're going to wrap it around that red strand and then up through the middle loop. And then you're just going to go ahead and take your hand out and then go ahead and pull the four strands away from each other. When doing this, you're going to want to try to shape the knot as much as you can to make sure that there aren't any imbalances, I guess you could say. And then you're just going to go ahead and tighten the knot a little bit. And then you're going to grab your third strand and go ahead and run the hemostats down through the middle of that knot. And then pull that purple strand up through the middle of that lanyard knot. And you're just going to want to finish tightening the lanyard knot completely. Once you're done tightening that knot, you're just going to want to start your three strand flat braid. So you're obviously going to have your three strands here, and then you're just going to grab the strand that's furthest on the left and then pull it down in between the two right strands. And then you're going to grab the very right strand and pull it down between those strands. And then once again, go ahead and grab your very left cord and then pull it down between the two right cords. And then do the same with the very right cord, pull it down between the two left cords and you're just going to continue doing this. You're going to alternate sides every single time until you get down to the length you want it to be. The basic idea of this is there will always be two strands on one side. Will be the one that you then pull into the pattern next, if that makes any sense. And then here I just go ahead and zoom in and show you guys that. When you're doing this pattern, you want to try to be very consistent with the tightening because it will end up looking weird if you are not careful. And then once you get it to a decent length, you're just going to want to wrap it around your wrist and make sure it overlaps there by maybe one to two inches. Once you know that length is good, you're just going to want to bend the end of that around in a circle here, making a loop just big enough for the lanyard not to fit through. So how you're going to want to do this, you're actually going to want to check your very left strand, so it is purple in my case, and you're going to want to count to the third of that color, if that makes any sense, and then you're going to pull that strand down through where that third loop is as you'll see me do here 
So what you can do is just go ahead and grab a medium fid tool or a large, doesn't really matter. Medium just makes it a little bit easier. And you're just gonna wanna clip the end of the purple strand at an angle. And then you're gonna go ahead and melt it to a point. And then you're just gonna twist the fid onto there. And then go ahead and find that loop again and then pull the fit down through there. Make sure you go through the top of the bracelet. You don't want to go from the back of the bracelet. You want to go down through the top of the bracelet. And you're just going to want to tighten that a little bit. Try to make sure there are no twists in that cord. And then you're going to go ahead and move on to the green cord. So the green cord is just going to go through the next loop under that purple one. So go ahead and cut and singe that to a point. And then pull it once again down through the top of the bracelet. You can do the same with the red strands. So once again, go ahead and cut it and singe it into a point and then twist it into the fit and then pull it down through that red loop. Then you're gonna go ahead and tighten those cords a little bit. Once again, make sure there are no twists in them. And you can go ahead and remove the hemostats there because it's the rest of the pattern is gonna stay now. And then as you tighten that, you just kind of want to shape it into a nice loop. And then just go ahead and pull the lanyard knot around here and pull those strands up through that loop and make sure the lanyard knot fits. You want it to fit nice and snug. Then you can just go ahead and try the bracelet on and make sure it is a good fit for around your wrist. So as you can see here, it looks pretty good. It just barely fits with enough space for lanyard knot to be in a good position so it's not too loose. Then you're just gonna go ahead and take that off and finish off the bracelet. So go ahead and start with your bottom strand there and then just go ahead and cut that. Leave a little bit of cord left on there. And then you're just gonna go ahead and melt that to the bracelet and press that down. Go ahead and move on to the next strand. Once again, leave a little bit of cord and then just go ahead and melt that and press it into the bracelet. And then go ahead and finish the last cord. When doing this, I would only suggest leaving enough cord for it to burn. But if you have a weaker lighter than the one I'm using here, it's going to be harder to burn it essentially. So you're going to want to you're going to want to leave less cord basically. And then you're just going to go ahead and move around to the other end. Make sure all three of those strands are tight. Go ahead and cut those off. Here I left quite a bit of cord on the end to burn. I knew that my lighter would be able to burn it down nicely and make it sit nicely on the knot there without having to press it down. And then you're done. Anyway guys, this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I also hope you guys enjoyed my last video, my thousand subscriber video. That one took me a little while to do. It was a little bit on the long side, but um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you are new here, I post every Monday and Thursday without fail. <laughs> And I also post um, sometimes sporadically, so if you want to make sure you don't miss any of those videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, something cool some of you here on YouTube may not know is on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, I actually post the picture of what the tutorial for the next day is going to be, if that makes any sense. So, for instance, today I'm recording this on Tuesday, so tomorrow I'm going to post an Instagram picture for this video, which is going to be uploaded Thursday. To you, that probably doesn't make any sense because when you're watching it, it's already going to be Thursday or after that. But anyway, I hope that you guys understood what I was saying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.